Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tuscan Trade Terror for Europa Universalis War. So, where we left off last, um, you may notice there's a difference in the audio levels. I was messing around with some settings and somehow one of the one of the plugins that I have got defaulted back to its normal settings and so it was boosting the volume by like six decibels at the end. And uh, so hopefully, you know, you just lowered the volume in the last few videos, but it shouldn't really be too much of a difference in sound aside from just it being louder than normal. Anyway, we, uh, we ended up at war with the Coalition, um, because, you know, reasons. So, unlike Coalitions, what we've done in the past, where you declare war on an ally of the Coalition member, um, declaring war on a Protectorate apparently happens too fast. It, you know, it pushes it up to the leader, and then they do call in the Coalition, which is interesting. It said that uh, Netherlands would protect them, but it didn't say it in a way that I expected that they would take over right away. Anyway, we're about to finish the canal, kind of. Now it's been pushed off two more years. I, it's just... I hate this event. I really do. A dumb, dumb event. Dumb thing to have to do. So yeah, um, we're going to play on speed three. We won a battle. These guys are all just kind of hanging out. We should use them too. Let's go siege the heck out of Melindy. Oh, and you know what? One of these guys over here is the siege guy. Siege guy. I think it was this one. You know, I only have the one claim on Melindy, actually. And then the, we've got a claim up there. Did we finally take care of this? No. Come on, let's take care of this. These revolutionaries have been here. It's just the one rebellion. So we've retreated all over the Navy, so our trade income is going to go down significantly. But we still have a lot of trade power just from provinces and everything. I mean, the, the boats aren't even really that necessary. But where we're losing the money the most right now is in Western Europe. We only have 20% control, because that's pretty much all boats. But, um... Altogether, I, I have the same amount of infantry, way more cavalry, and then way, way more artillery. So, we shall see. There's going to be some fairly sizable armies up here. The Hansa is in the war, so we have to watch out for that. The Netherlands have a 6-4 commander there. They're going to slaughter the little princes. Let's combine this army and transport a general up north. Looks like our best is going to be this 3-5 here. So, Isidoro is going to go fight in the mountains. The Alps. See if we can get him up to, like, Tyrol. And then this, this over here, we should combine that too before we have it go anywhere. And then we'll stick that one with a commander as well. Yeah, we don't need a general here. I think. It's, it's going to be um, in Western Europe that we need the generals. Go to Pyrenees first. And then, if there are armies over here doing nothing, I suppose we should... By doing nothing, of course. Um, Alright, so Siege Guy, you're gonna move to over here. Vijayanagar's got a 1-1 commander, level 23 military tech. So I think that our guy will be more than fine. Put him in charge there. And then let's just take all the armies that we were using to babysit the new Ethiopian lands. Like, all these guys are going to head back north in preparation for some major war with the Hansa, France, and Austria. We'll say, everyone go here, 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 and there. Okay, we won a, a decent battle there. Now, this the war score is going to go up based on battles, so I should be as cautious as possible about not losing battles. I don't think the Netherlands is going to have any troops down here. This would be another good spot for the siege leader. Yeah, why don't we kill that army too?
Okay. I've got to remember that we're playing on speed 3. Look at that. 120-something thousand stacks, suffering 5% attrition. Do they not realize that 5% of 121,000 is like 6,000 men? A day? Or, probably, sorry, per month? Like, they should be a little bit cautious, I think. Did we win this battle with the revolutionaries yet? Come on. We've lost the effects of trading in sugar. Finally! We still do have revolts possible in a lot of places. Because of conversions and, and all that stuff. Okay, um... We do have 50 military points. We could hire another general. Or just do a little bit more harsh treatment. I think it would be more useful. We could do a little bit of diploma diplomatic conversions. I think it's fine. We're not ahead of time on technology anymore, but... You know, one more splurge of it, I think is fine. We're getting 12 military points a month. So I think we'll be just fine. Let's move up into Baron, because there's rivers all around it, and it's mountains. Well, oh, it's hills and mountains. Now, France is looking pretty weak. I mean, does France even have... What does France have? France has 114... 900 men. So they are pretty strong, but they're spread thin, you know? France has troop or has land almost everywhere. Russia, wow. Russia's really cleaning up. And we're gonna stay in the Alps here until we get our reinforcements. In fact, let's let's force march you. Oh crap. Scorched Earth, that's not what I meant to do. Well, I guess we scorched it. Normal attrition. Scorched Earth. For five years, I've scorched Pyrenees. I just see, I think that we're seeing a battle happen here. And they're going to have their really, really good commander, or 5-6, I see. So we need to have the best commander possible. Which is going to be our... You know, 3-5, that's 8 points, 7 points, 7-6... Seven, I just wish that we had a better fire commander. Most of the damage at this phase of the game comes from the artillery. I mean, look at that. Artillery fire modifier. So, you know, our best commander might actually be the 4354. But he's busy. We're going to have to stick with the 35. But yeah, I think the battle's going to happen in Tyrol. Um. They are heading towards Tyrol. Yep. Okay, we've won a siege. We'll keep moving along. Sieging what we can here and there. These guys are going to take six months to a year to get up there. And Coruscant does have an army, but we are carpet sieging a lot of this stuff down here. I think I just have to have faith in the Legios. As I say that, we lose a battle against something. Really? Oh, the Netherlands have a 5-3 down here. That would explain it. Alright, we'll try to finish your siege. throw more men at the problem. Then here comes the major battle. March 1st. So, are you going to be... Okay, March 2nd. Now we're going to take you and force march. Try to get up there. We have a huge morale advantage. One whole morale. They have a slight discipline advantage. But we've got roughly equal armies. I mean, you know, full artillery in both rows. But they're, they're suffering the penalty. So they're suffering uh, a 6-4 versus a 6-8. It's just going to come down to we need to get some reinforcement happening. Because now there's 100,000 men there. 
And I might not be able to do that in time. And I can't separate piece anyone because it's all coalition. War enthusiasm is it high? They think that I'm making gains. That's always reassuring. Unfortunately, they've reinforced with that 100,000 men, so they've got all this, this morale. We might lose this battle. I don't think we can reinforce fast enough. In which case, um, we'll want to turn off Force March, go to Wallace, and direct the retreat, if possible, to Wallace. No, it didn't let me. It's going to go to Barcelona for some reason. Alright, fine. Well, we lose some more score, but yeah, we're not going to let us let ourselves get stack wiped. I'm going to take up position in another good spot. And we're starting to see some sieges take over. Now, if they, if they want to race me, you know you know the drill. 73% defensiveness with amazing siege speed with our Legios. They're going to lose the race. Melindy's opinion goes up, or piss off Melindy. Easy decision there. We have won the Siege of Gondor. Okay, why don't you go take care of the Rebellion there, then. I think a lot of these are going to finish up soon. Coruscant is on Tech 28. They're actually ahead of me. But, I don't know, I still feel like I'll probably be alright. It would really be a good idea, probably. You know, let's combine this into a 40 stat and go take care of some of these armies. That'll just break everyone's spirits. Okay, that was one of our claims. Let's siege something else nearby. We're actually losing money right now. Due to reinforcement. It's a lot of sieging happening right now. Yeah, I think that this general would be better served. Same thing down here. I've got to take care of the... Be there on the 27th. Apparently I became the I was the attacker somehow here. And we're going to lose. Shoot. Let's make sure that we get um forced march turned off. We'll futilely try to trace, chase down these tiny armies. And yes, this battle is happening, so... I'm just gonna crush the armies over here... ...as much as I can with this 40 stack. And that way the 20 stacks will be safe. Meanwhile... Um, they've split up again, and they're, they're actually going after my, my vassals' armies. You should be recovered-ish. You can come back to Piedmont. We'll stack wipe a cavalry, sure. Ooh, Battle of Gizelmer, 7%. It's pretty good. And we have 15 fervor points. Why don't we just in case focus on war? Um, that 15% bonus morale, you never know, could come into handy. But we're just going to hang out in the Alps because it's worked for us in the past and that's just what we're going to do. There's nothing else to core right now. We're converting. The army has barely made any progress on coming up here. We have 80,000, 60, 63,000 men. Of course, Fez rises up. Of course. 
6.6, you know, kind of high. It's already been harsh treated and it's at 6.6. Now, I'd really like to get rid of that disorder. Military reform. Benedetto Di Cardi has begun a thorough revision of our country's military structure. While officers are still drawn from the nobility, the peasants and townspeople are conscripted into the other ranks. Regular drilling has been introduced, and a powerful fleet established together with hundreds of battleships, galleys, and other crafts. Wow. Army reform for five years. 200 military power. 20% morale. Military tech goes down, or we could only reform the Navy, or reform both, and split it right down the middle. That's such a good event. Wow. Well, right now, we're equally ahead of time on things. Um, Diplotech improving is not going to help Army. Military tech improving, though, would be nice. Getting impre you know better unit types up through level 30. I think we do the, the, uh, the Army. That's going to lower our tech cost down to 498. Almost almost gets us half a level. All right, so I think we go for the next tech level now for sure. I'm going to hold out until the army gets up there, and once they're up there, then we'll press forward. And we did catch an army. Cool. And then you're heading back down to siege more. Good, good. And you have won a battle. This army is retreating, so we will chase it. I don't know where it's going, but I'd love to get it the whole way there. Now, what I could do is um, just try to peace out as soon as possible. Take things that we have claims on, you know, just get a lot of war score from battles and then just get out of the war. I mean, I, could, I mean that's pretty good. That's 28% overextension. And then peace out and then just declare war on someone else, keep going to war with coalition over and over again. But there's still provinces down here I want to siege. And I want to move on my claims. We have a bunch of claims in France. I think we're going to see another major battle here, and I'd, I'd hate to lose it. We have lost the siege of Damaraland. We have won the siege of Malan Mandla. Okay, we got claims on Malwa. Why don't you go down to Surat? And you keep chasing, and then... Canal Company Scheme. It seems... Well, how, how, just... How close are we? 27 March. So, less than a year to go. <laughs> It, it seems that the privately owned canal company that was set up a few years ago has gone bankrupt. They apparently faced severe economic problems early on, but hid this information from the public. 59 peasant regiments rise up. Nice. Or let's foot the bill. Lose 7,000 ducats. So either way, it's it's... Pushed off by year. Awesome! What a fantastic event, Paradox. I mean, who wouldn't be thrilled to have such unique and fantastic things happen in their game? It's just brilliant, you know? A terrible decision or a terrible decision? I'm so happy. Ugh. What a joke. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.